everyone, welcome to another episode of The Human Blueprint. And today we have Jeanette, myself, Bernard, and Herman. So, we have an interesting topic today. Well, I have a question. And kind of what I noticed is, so, being from Norway, and um, not only that it runs in my family, but a lot of times when I talk to friends or I meet new people, and especially women, it's like when we start talking about health and I share what I have been dealing with, you know, I have a problem with my thyroid, almost everyone says, oh, me too. And then, you know, I was thinking, okay, yeah, well, it's a female disease and maybe, you know, it's, it's common and I understand that. But then we came to Canada and now I just realized like almost the same thing when I talk to people and also this is women I'm not sure if that's correct but it's like almost everyone that I talk to either like every second one says like they have Lyme disease and I'm just asking or thinking is it one thing is where you're from but is this also a part of our mindset like how our emotions or the environment or you mm -hmm. know how is, does that affect our health like how does it affect why is it that we do have these different diseases there are. Is so, there a correlation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it just, yeah. Yeah. So, as a piece of paper, mm -hmm. you draw something, close your eyes, mm -hmm. draw something from what you think of when you are back at home. Don't look at it, just draw it. Don't, just yeah, and you'll go after. Okay. okay. So don't, don't, don't be in Okay, I'm not going to be <laughs> Close your eyes and just freely, one, just, two, just three, three four, anything, just, five, just anything. Anything, I just, like, I just, think of my home and then just, I just draw. Exactly. Oh, okay. Can, you can draw any shape, anything you want. Okay. Okay. That's good? Yeah. So that's yours. Okay. Okay. So Bernard. Okay, now you draw yours. <laughs> you <laughs> so I'm just, going, I'm just going to draw anything. I'll tell you when you're going off the paper. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. And when you're satisfied? Okay. Okay. Okay, so you're satisfied. I'm with satisfied. Okay, so open up your eyes. Sign it. Okay. Sign yours. Now, do you know why we're doing this? No. Okay. So I want you to carefully look at this piece of paper. Can I share? Yeah, of course. So if we want to put this up close, both of them? Yeah. Look can at these see? two pieces of paper. You can see them signed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll address this one first since this was done first, yeah, right? This is less embarrassing. Okay. Now, when you first thought of that very first feeling, mm -hmm. what came to you from this point, the very beginning, to go in this shape? It was basically, for some reason, my home, mm -hmm. like where I started. Mm -hmm. And then it was more of like, I guess I, I just want to get out of there. <laughs> I understand. And so I just, I don't if know people why. can see this, so if you look very carefully, let me point this out. Right here, she considered this is where she started. So this was the home. Mm -hmm. If you notice, this is like a box. So it's like entrapment. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. It's entrapment. So as soon as she came over here, got a taste of freedom, she just wanted to... Get out of it. So it's like getting out of a labyrinth or a maze. Correct. Correct. And if you study sacred geometry, you would understand that just a little bit further. And so this is where she started. This is where she ended. This is where she wants to be or this is where she is at right now. Mm. So when we think of, let's say this is the conscious mind. Okay. Subconscious is trapped in here. Unconscious wants out here. That's why this exercise is good because... There's no emotion necessarily attached to it. And so for a lot of people, when we ask them to do this, they come up with everything different, correct? Mm -hmm. No two people come up with the exact same thing. So you asked 
your question. Let's go to Bernard and then we'll answer your question. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. So do you mind if I share this? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So can everyone see that? You want to put that up closer, Bernard? Okay. So what do you see on that piece of paper, Bernard? I see, to me, it's just objects that I think I see in my everyday life, which I actually don't. Okay. Yeah. So like Stars, for example. Okay, so do you see a star every day? No, okay. I barely. Okay, but you may see a circle every day. Yeah. You may see a tree, yes. depending on the neighborhood you're in. I you may really see a box. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you live in a box, right? And then this is what, water? Water. Okay. Out of all those things, which one speaks to you most? The water, actually. So can everyone see the water? Right, right here. Now look at his signature. It's almost identical to the water. Do you see that? Mm. Do you see that? Especially the last stroke here? Mm -hmm. It's exactly identical to your signature. Do you know why? No. I'm hoping you can explain to, to us. So let's put it this way. Logically, you think that you have to see things that exist or you have to understand how the world exists based off of how logic would dictate. So you don't necessarily see a star every day, but you believe there are stars, mm -hmm. but yet you, with your eyes closed, can connect that without even seeing it. Why is that? I drew a lot of stars when I was a child. One way, <laughs> but also that's where you want to go back to. Mm. But you see, what was the next thing you drew? The circle, right? or half circle, mm -hmm. right? Could have been the moon. Could have been the moon, right? So right there it says that's where you want to go back to. This is your make, makeshift tree. <laughs> <laughs> My blindfolded tree. Your blindfolded yeah. tree. Now, why would you see the tree after that? A tree is thinking of life. So this gives life to that. Mm. The stars and the sun and the moon give life to that. What your problem well, that's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, your problem is, what's this? It's a box. It's a box. So, is that in a box? No. Is the star, the sun and the moon, and the trees in the box? No. But what's in the box? Pardon me. And you already know what the solution is. To get out, flow, to be... Flexible. Mm. But this is something you don't always have. Mm. You know somehow and your unconscious mind is telling you to be like water to the point that your signature replicates the exact way you draw water. Mm. But for whatever reason, you stay stuck in this. Mm. And then this is ignored. So subconsciously, these are the things that I know are what good for, for me, everyone. Relatively. Is that, is that what it is? But I would say even beyond subconscious, it's unconscious because if you can see carefully, I drew the line in between to show him the difference. But how did he know with his eyes closed to segregate each one in a certain way? Yeah, I didn't know. You didn't know? No, I was... You were just five second time, mm -hmm. let's get this done. So now take those sheets of paper, okay? Now, each one of these things have something called energy or frequency. So let's say this frequency for where, when she's in the box, she performs at maybe this frequency. So maybe it's like a line with barely any, any ups or barely any downs. Okay? That's like the box. When she, that's for this part, so we'll call that one. Okay? So when she's coming out of the box, we'll call this part two, and then she's in that box, then maybe it's a little jumpier because maybe it's, oh, got a little taste of freedom. It's getting more exciting. Right? So you want to say that? Getting maybe a little more exciting because realizes you don't have to stay in the box. So at the next juncture, we go through three. So let's say three at this point. Now this one is a little erratic because now there's no box. Now it's like, do I go left, right, center, up, down? So then this one, maybe it's a little more erratic. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then finally, when she gets to this point, at this juncture, number four, 
it goes like this. Maybe it goes in a different way. But to see that if you look carefully, when she was in the box, I wanted to dictate that when you look at, when you go to the hospital and then you read the, the meter, mm -hmm. right? When you do blood pressure, the life lines, yeah. you see the different lifelines, right? That's mm -hmm. the frequency to what the heart is emitting, right? Mm -hmm. You understand that, right? When you go to certain parts of the world, people don't realize the reason why certain parts of the world, like say Canada, everyone's maybe viewed as being nice. Mm -hmm. If you go to maybe a different part of the world, everyone's viewed a certain way. Maybe Japan, everyone's clean, right? But it's because they operate on similar frequencies based off of what's around them, based off of the history, the lineage, where they came from, what their beliefs are, what they understand. Problem in today's world now, to go off of this, is that everyone's afraid to even put a dot, to even start. So then nothing gets done. Okay? Mm. That's the first big problem. Mm. Second big problem is once they get started, they expect to be at the very end in record time, yeah. to be here in record time. So no, they don't want to start, but when they finally do give 1% of start, mm -hmm. they expect to have it at the very end right away. Mm -hmm. yeah. But life is a process, life is a journey. Let's say maybe this is five years old, this is 10, maybe this is 20, maybe this is 30. Maybe this is 40, maybe this is 50. Mm -hmm. Now, we know time is our greatest asset. So yeah, inherently we want to get to that learning curve as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But there requires a certain amount of steps and an exact formula to get there because there's no guarantee mm -hmm. that this line is straight. Mm -hmm. When you're trapped, you don't feel like this can concentrate. When you're trapped, you don't feel maybe that this part is you, mm -hmm. the first part, the stars, the sun and the moon and the life. And so when you're trapped, what actually happens, and we'll go to yours, is that each one creates their own frequency and each frequency does not necessarily mean that they coexist with the others. So let's say now, this is Bernard, so he's in Canada. So let's say this correlates well with him, this he gets, this, maybe not so much. This doesn't want to admit. This, yeah, he's all about. <laughs> so then when we have a frequency, then it's like energy will become, how do we say, hindered. Mm -hmm. So it's like every time it enters into the room, just like every time it enters into this, it's either going to go up or across, maybe down or across. It's going to go somewhere, somewhere. So let's say this was a let's say this was a negative and this was a positive okay so someone told you something you didn't like when you first met them let's make that a negative you felt really bad because it hurt you maybe created a negative so are the emotions that are creating the frequency so it's what's so deeply embedded in the unconscious of those in this environment that they keep replicating mm -hmm. it's like the cell in your body how come you replicate the exact same color? How come you don't replicate maybe like a basketball color? Mm. Maybe football color? Maybe hockey puck color? How come you don't replicate that color? So what happens is every time we interpret something, say negative, and then finally we get a positive. So then we go negative, finally get a positive. So every time we go through this and everyone else goes through that, it affects this in its entirety so let's say we call this planet earth okay let's say we call that planet earth now every one of us are in this planet earth correct mm -hmm. that we know of yes. that we know mm -hmm. of right yes. correct yep. so what happens let's say Jeanette now brings her box over here Okay, mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. And let's say for your number one, we put the star over here. Does that mean that your star is better than her box or her box is better than your star? No, they're equal. Why? But they're two separate shapes and they're two separate beginnings. They're on the, same, they? they're on the same plane or same area or... No, 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 no. Huh? You're close. If we truly understand consciousness, consciousness has nothing to do with anything external. 
consciousness is developed internal mm -hmm. so then this no longer matters this no longer matters because all that matters is all of us that we are in the same consciousness is to help every single person on their own path so become. Would, would i share her consciousness if we're all but we're all connected doesn't matter if you're in a different part of the world someone's over here what happens is every time she uses or applies this consciousness bit from where she came from mm -hmm. let's say that's norway right mm -hmm. and this is how most people in norway feel right mm -hmm. and let's say you your family hail from china mm -hmm. but you grew up over here in canada so would these be the two exact same places no so logically they say no but right, consciously consciously they say yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Because they all originated from the same, mm -hmm. but it's us that created this part. Yeah. That's to answer your question. Everybody creates all these diseases mm -hmm. because they all replicate the same thing from their region, that yeah. frequency of what it is. Mm -hmm. So let's say number one is maybe a thyroid issue. Mm -hmm. Let's say number two is a energy issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's say number three is a self-worth issue mm -hmm. so what would you describe number four to be your number four well for me it would be self-love i think but that's more in self-worth that's true and then the first word that came to me was freedom so what the freedom number four is freedom mm -hmm. And there's a reason why we're doing this. Go ahead. Okay. What do you think star meant to you? Expansion. Okay. Why? Why expansion? Because it's beyond us. It's beyond well, what I can touch. Okay. And why the circle? I, I think that's a moon, by the way. Or okay. either that moon? or it's an egg. So why yeah, the moon? It's a moon. Uh, again, that's a... Again, when you look at the moon, there's there's something to aim for, and so you aim for the moon, or I aim for the stars and the moon, I guess. Like it's so, you aim for the stars, and if you don't get the star, you, I get you the moon. settle I for the, the moon. I right? hit the moon. That's <laughs> good, good enough for me. <laughs> so we're gonna call what this? If this is expansion, what's this? this settle is, in. Yeah, I don't want to use that word settlement, <laughs> but yeah, you put, put me on the spot. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll say the, your word it has to be your word. I'll say yeah. Okay, fine. I'll say uh, something that I would accept. Accept? Okay. Acceptance. Okay, so we'll use accept. Okay, tree. Tree, it's a tree of life. Tree of life. So we'll put life here, okay? Mm hmm Box. Oh, man. One word. Boundaries. Boundaries. Okay. Oh, you know what? Can I change that? Of course to limitations? Can. But that's also boundaries, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like a magic trick because okay. this and last then, one would have been freedom. Mm -hmm. Funny how you have the exact same one. Hmm. Funny that there's no such thing as coincidence. Both of your drawings, but both of you described the exact same ending. Mm -hmm. Now, why that word? Why that specific word? Okay, I'm trying to think about this. Okay. There's a reason why. Why that exact word? Because it's it's the answer to, for me. It's like the answer to everything. Like that is okay. But in order to get to freedom, we can't be in this. No. We have to be in this. Like yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. When you're in this, you're stuck with up and down. Maybe expansion, maybe acceptance, mm. maybe life, maybe something else. This one, maybe I have a thyroid issue, maybe I have an energy issue, maybe I have a self-worth issue, maybe I have a freedom issue. And so what happens is when you come from different walks of life, different cultures, live in different places of the world, each one has their own so-called makeup. And it's from that makeup, that's why everyone in the same region generally has the same sickness, the same disease, and the same illness because they allow poison 
inside, mm-hmm. some way, somehow.、Mm-hmm. And the whole point is to stop allowing those poisons in and allow ourselves to be this again. Because、yeah. that's the freedom you're looking for.、Mm-hmm. But everyone's looking for freedom in this, the messiness.、Mm-hmm. Freedom never came from messiness, freedom only came from freedom known as emptiness. Nothing is clinging on to it, nothing is holding on to it, no chains, no nothing. And so, if we are ever going to become healthy as a species, we have to understand that in order to get that freedom that both of you wrote down, we have to make some changes. We have to go back to the blank slate.、Yes. Stop thinking that, oh, I love how this tastes.、Mm-hmm. Ooh, I love how that looks.、Yeah. Ooh, I need this to survive. Ooh, I need that because someone else has it. Mm-hmm. All of that adds more to this and creates the complication. Do you understand? I do. I didn't realize this, this episode is going, going to this thing. But anyway. You brought up the topic. <laughs>、yes. I didn't bring up this topic. You、no. guys brought up this topic.、Yeah. We're just going into、yeah. it to address、yeah. it. Because、and、this is very important to understand.、Mm-hmm. And. But so, I, know, I just want to say, like you said, once you meet rice ball, everything, and that is what I feel is the answer. Is that that's is how you that, do that, it. That, yeah, that's this, yeah, that's how you do it. Blank,、yeah. you have to become empty, yeah. So, okay, here's a question now, in this day and age. Where there's so many things, so many distractions.、Mm-hmm. How does one get to this empty place? You first have to admit that you are not as empty as you think you are. No, okay. I'll, I'll be the first to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> Because most people will never admit that. They don't have the courage to admit that. They think they're perfect the way they are. They've learned something once, they're set for life.、Mm-hmm. How does that work? You can never just learn something once.、Mm-mm. That's like trying to say you're going to build a rocket to go into space just once. And if you don't get it, then you're never going to build it again. Well, what did they do? They're like, experiment, experiment, figure out every single way. Are we going to be able to hit the atmospheric pressure? Are we going to be able to make it pass the ozone? Are we going to make it pass to re enter? Is it going to survive when it goes out? Is it going to be able to come back in?、Mm-hmm. That takes a lot of so called sacrifice,、mm-hmm. a lot of experiments. Some people lost their lives over that.、Mm-hmm. But what I'm trying to say. Is why don't we experiment in life to figure out what it takes to continuously take the things away that we don't need、yeah. to get back to that freedom that both of you both wrote down and most、mm. people watching this want? Yes. And I relate so much to that because for me, self worth is like I don't know how many times I've like, done the challenge of like, you know, my、mm-hmm. self negative talk and myself just go and It just keeps on coming back because, and then it's just like realizing that I still have the work to do, to do it. You know, I still have to work on it. It just comes in another form.、Mm-hmm. And, and it hurts in different ways, but it's like I feel like that has been also the most grateful challenges because what comes afterwards is so the freedom that comes afterward is it's, it's like. It's no words for it. You know, it's just, it's just so f e l t So, to expand on that, most people think to get freedom, okay, Herman said or Bernard said to turn the paper, so I turn my paper. Why don't I have freedom?、Mm-hmm. That's called ignorance.、Mm-hmm. It doesn't happen just because you think you did something.、Mm-hmm. There's no substitute for hard work.、Yeah. And in order to do that, you have to have accountability、mm-hmm. so that when something didn't work out, you can own up to it to get to stage two or get to stage three or、yeah. get to stage four. But the problem is, everyone has no accountability、mm-hmm. in today's world. They just want to be here, do whatever they want, and get here instantly and just expect a snap of a finger, life's going to be perfect. Yeah. And it doesn't work that way.、Mm-hmm. Everything in life has to have its process, has its time.、Mm-hmm. You didn't just start walking the second you were born, you didn't just start stop talking as soon as you were born. You couldn't do maybe trigonometry as soon as you're in kindergarten. Everything has to have a process. You have to learn certain things first. So, I guess, again, I'm generalizing here, but with, with tech and everything else, are people skipping steps now? Because tech, like, tech is allowing steps to be skipped 
And that's why we are in the information age. We haven't been more connected digitally through devices, but we haven't ever been more disconnected. And by the way, I love tech, so <laughs> not, not this, discounting tech. Yes. But that, that's why, because when you're pointing this out, it's like, yeah, okay, there's steps, but with technology and everything else, there's no need, like nobody even looks at those steps because you can skip it, you can press a button and it works. And so how did you start getting your steps? Was it not when we talked? Mm -hmm. Was it not that when you took part in our Facebook group? Yes. Our yes. inner circle? Yes. Private calls? Yes. Events? Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. That's where you had the growth. But you see now, everyone spends all their money things they don't need mm -hmm. because they want to get here to look pretty for maybe social media right away. Yeah. But in between, everything was cut off. So 10, I didn't save. 20, didn't save. 30, didn't save. 40, didn't save. Oh, 50. Maybe I should save something. And so they have no more accountability. So then they can't manage each stage that they go through in life. And so they just keep repeating the same mistakes that those before them came and made. They just keep repeating and repeating and repeating because there's no accountability. Everybody says they want freedom. Mm -hmm. What are you willing to do to get it? What are you willing to do to make sure that you and your family have that? Mm -hmm. Because before we could ever sit here, our grandparents, great-grandparents did so much just to get us here right now. Yeah. It's just interesting because I've never really thought about freedom. Like consciously, uh -huh. but no one, no one's like, "Hey, what do you want? I want freedom." <laughs> no, no one really asks those questions. Do you have it for sale? <laughs> but, yeah. But when you think about it, it's like, okay, well, if I if that's what I do want, which I now that I think about it, it's like, okay, yes, that's what I want, freedom. But what am I willing to do to achieve that? Because we always talk about what we're willing to do to achieve more riches or relationships or whatever it is, but freedom on its own, what's the price? Mm -hmm. And it's very steep. Okay. It's very steep. And that's why people just keep repeating the same health issues because they're staying on those same patterns, mm -hmm. those wavelengths. Yeah. And so finally, when they, they call for help, they're like, okay, I need help. So we try to interrupt it. We try to interrupt and say, okay, no more of that frequency, no more of this one, no more of that one. But then what happens? They developed something during that time, bad habits, mm -hmm. selfishness, greed, ego, all these things that rob themselves and other people. And so as soon as they ask for help now, we interrupt and say, okay, we can help you. But then say, you know what? The price is too steep because I didn't save at this. I didn't save at this. I didn't save at this. And we're not just talking monetary. We're talking maybe it's real estate equity. Maybe it's relationship equity. Maybe it's your own reputation equity. Mm -hmm. And so they have nothing saved in the bank for anything. Mm -hmm. So when we come here to try to interrupt so that they can get on a better frequency so that we can all be like this, they have nothing, they have nothing developed, nothing accounted for. And the other part that's interesting about this is that freedom, the opposite of freedom is being trapped. It's really inconvenient. Mm -hmm. to, do, to get through the steps, you got to go through those inconveniences, mm -hmm. but nobody, like I didn't want to go through that. It's like, oh man, so much work. I don't want to do this. So it was inconvenient for me, but if I didn't do some stuff, it actually becomes way more inconvenient down the road. Mm -hmm. It's more costly. And I feel like, you know, when you, so when the challenges, well, for me, how I see it is like when the challenges come up and you get this emotion or this feeling like this is too much, like I can't, this is stressing me or you know it hurts too much mm -hmm. basically what I'm being shown is not um, what's gonna happen it's more of what I'm actually letting go of but in the moment the ego is telling me no you cannot do this because it hurts so much but what's what's actually is happening is it shows me what I am letting go of so for me it's like when I understand kind of like that's how I felt though that like if I understood that this is actually what I'm letting go of instead of what is going to happen to me when I go through the challenge. The challenge was easier to go mm. through. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. I'm listening to it. I'm thinking about video games. It's like every, <laughs> if you want to go past a stage, you got to yeah. go beat that boss. Yeah. And that boss is always challenging. The biggest yeah. test. Yeah. yeah. It's really annoying. And you don't just get the hardest one first. You got to graduate 
Mm -hmm. Right? And then the very end, that's the hardest one of all, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's like the, the inconvenience that that's, it's so annoying, but in like what you said, like you can look at it from the perspective that it's, you're close to mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Right? Versus this is, I can't pass this. Yeah. This is just too much for me. Yeah. It's like, no, no, this is, you're getting close. You just got to get past this. And then it kind of like, for me, I understood that, okay, so if I um, manage this one, okay, the next one will be bigger compared to where I am now, but at the same time, I will be stronger, mm -hmm. so it will not feel as bad. So it's easier for me to go through that one, but I have to go through this one first. So, but it kind of, I don't know, it's just how I feel from my point perspective that made me go further to take the next step. Yeah, my mind feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Let's just be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So do you understand that? Yes. Well, I mean, I wasn't expecting this, but now I understand this. And again, it's very interesting. Do you understand how, that? Yes, I do. How we got here. Yeah. So what are you going to do? Well, get outside the box, stop, stop focusing on this stuff and focus on being more empty, letting go of more, more attachments. Again, sometimes I don't even know I'm attached to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's just, yeah. like, just being honest, like, yeah. it's yeah. not like I sit there, it's like, what am I attached to? Right? But I guess once you have that, that feeling that, okay, I, I really need this, like, do you really need this? Mm -hmm. right? Do, do you really need, need another one of this? Like, how many more <laughs> things do you need? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Any man. questions on this? Uh, no. Can we frame this? That's yours. You <laughs> signed it. That's all yours. You signed it. Yeah. Do, do you have any questions? No. I just think I'm, it's amazing. I'm just amazing. processing right now. I was so. like, I did not see this coming when I asked the question. We thought we were going to talk about some diets or something. <laughs> so, someone's eating too but much it pizza. Was, it was right. very... That was very interesting. But remember, food also has its own frequency because yes. it's energy. Yes. So when you put food in mm -hmm. that does not agree with what everyone, when we were born, we were all innocent, we were pure. Mm -hmm. So we put things into this planet, that, or we dump things or we poison this planet. What happens then? All those check marks become X's. And then what happens when we fill this up with all these X's? Where is the space for your freedom? Mm -hmm. There is no space. But you see, everyone in this planet wants that freedom, mm. but they continuously sacrifice and at the cost of everything else. Oh, we, it's water. Let someone else figure mm. that out. Oh, it's only plastic. Yeah, we'll keep using it. Let someone else clean it up. Oh, another oil spill. That's okay. We'll just get more oil. But every time, another X, another X, another X. That's like everybody living in the same house and somebody else is making a mess somewhere else and you're like oh that's okay mm -hmm. yeah. but eventually it's going to get you yes or you're on the boat to say this is the boat and no one's paying attention because they're too busy looking on social media so you're on a boat and then let's say this one has a this person over here has a hole and it just started as the tiniest little hole mm -hmm. but then what happens when the other person does the same thing on the other side and there's another hole and then what happens when everyone starts having all these holes because they're no longer accountable for their station? Yeah. Everything's going to sink. There's not going to be anything left for anyone to have freedom with. So that's why if that's what everyone sees with this and both of you have it at the exact same point and you want to keep that, then we got to make some changes. And that's why we do the one-on-ones. That's why we do events. Mm -hmm. That's why we do all these inner circle calls that's mm -hmm. why we have all these private calls it's to make sure that people get on track so they stop puncturing holes on their lifeboat yeah and then what happens when there's no lifeboat we all go down we yeah. all go down okay jeez thank you herman thank you Jeanette. thank you thank you to both of you and thank you and if you have any questions or comments reach out yeah